YouTube, what it do, man? Welcome back to the Gunners View. It's your boy Kanjo Wagamangaba as always. I trust everyone has had a fantastic weekend. I'm sure know that I did. I'm sure that all the Gunners did. We've had a fantastic weekend, man. Uh, before I go any further, guys, you know the deal. Please hit the like and the subscribe button for those of you that are new to the channel. I'm still on my way to 10 subbies. I'm really close. I just need um, you guys to share the content if you like it. Get other guys to come through and watch the channel, man. I appreciate that. Also, before we go forward, I'm going to be classy this time. I'm going to try and just be classy, just like my club is. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to congratulate Man United on their win last night. Um, I didn't really catch the whole game. I heard that they won. Congratulations to them in their first little cup with uh, Tin Hag. That's the first one. And you know what? Kudos to them. Um, I think they played very well from what I heard. And uh, I know it, it seems very uh, weird or odd that... Uh, an Arsenal fan would congratulate uh, uh, an Man United win, or but you know we keep it classy here. This is this is where the gunners, right? Well, Arsenal always keeping it classy. So congratulations to them. But moving on to bigger things, you know, um, still lonely at the top. Seems like we're still out here. It seems like we were supposed to fumble. Isn't isn't this how? Is wasn't this the rhetoric? Wasn't this the way the script was supposed to go? That we lose to City and then we fumble and that's it. But it seems, as always, regardless of VAR agents, regardless of VAR overhead lords, is what I want to call them, because that's exactly what they are. They're always trying to come up against us. We still managed to pull through, and we still managed to grab three points at Leicester City. Congratulations to my team. Congratulations to the boys. Arteta, an amazing job. We are looking like champions, and that wasn't even our... That wasn't even the mandate for us this season. We were just trying to get back to top four, get back into the Champions League, and... You know, shout out to my team and the way we came together. And here we are now. And I feel fully deserved. Again, fully deserved that we're where we are. Went to the King Power Stadium. It was domination from the first minute to the last minute. I don't care who says what. I don't care what other people are trying. I'm not going to be nice about it. I'm not going to try and be, oh, you know, let's be fair. Let's, I'm not going to be fair. Uh, we pressed them. We should have had more goals. Um, I'm, I, I don't even want to speak about the penalty. I don't want to speak about the offside. I, I don't know all of these inconsistencies that are happening with VAR. It actually irks me a lot because I'm like, uh, that's what they always do. And it seems like every time Arsenal step up onto the pitch, there's going to be some form of, you know, some form of drama or some form of controversy around us and disallowed goals and disallowed penalties. Saka getting WWE slammed right there, in literally into the... But that's not a penalty. In White, apparently, you know, um, interceding the goalkeeper and making it impossible, and that's a foul. And yet... Aston Villa players can come through and, um, you know, and can impede on our goalkeeper. And that's a, that's a goal that's allowed. So I'm not going to go into it. I understand that when, when a team is playing as well as we do, I understand when we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and we actually deserve to be where it's very hard to watch another team do as well as we're doing. So I get it. Everyone is against us. And I'm going to say all of these people who come with their apologies, the whole board, the organization of the VAR and the Premier League, all of them coming with their apologies and telling us, oh, it should have been, could have been, it doesn't matter. Three points are in the bag. We are sitting at the top with a gaming hand. And um, as you saw on, on, on Saturday, later on that day after the game we played, obviously City went through and they thrashed. They won the game against Bournemouth. And uh, I was really shocked about that. I really thought that that was a place that they would go to and struggle. But, you know, when you're a team as good as, as Man City are, they went there and they got the points. So we're two points clear and we still have a game in hand. So I don't want to even talk about it. I want to talk about Arsenal. I want to talk about how great we were. Finally, Arteta. You know, it's like he heard us. Because finally... He switched up his tactics in the front, man. Eddie didn't even make... Eddie wasn't even in the team. He was given a break. He's been very good for us. But I said uh, over the last the last video, if you go and look at the last video, I said that about that. I felt like if Eddie... If, if you could swap... Excuse me. You can swap Eddie for for, for um, Trossard. I feel like something can happen there. Trossard gives a sort of dynamic um, approach to our front line. And it seems as if Martinelli thrives when he's got another person who keeps on switching with him and makes, and makes it difficult for, for defenders to keep an eye on him. And I think in the way that Gabriel Jesus usually does it, where he draws all these defenders towards him, is the way that Trossard gave the same impact. And I called that. I was like, I feel like Trossard will be such an amazing um, um, advantage for us there in the front. And I'm glad that Arteta tried it out. And it worked, man. And what a beautiful goal for him. And I'm, I'm so sad that it got disallowed. But so it goes, man. So I'm going to start from the back, where I'm just going to speak about Ramsdale. Another clean sheet. Didn't have much to do. Hardly had anything to do. Um, lovely stuff from Gabriel Mangales. Shout out to him. He's come under a lot of flag. I, I remember there was a time where people were like, you know, his form dips. I'm like, these people are young. Form is definitely going to dip. The boys are young and there's going to be a time where it's going to be a little bit inconsistent. But man, oh man, has he come through. He's been immaculate for us. Saliba. 
shutting me up, you know, because I was one of the people that felt like maybe he's tired, maybe he needs a break, comes through, Ben White comes through, amazing stuff, Zinchenko, I mean, geez, you know, um, him having to be captain, obviously, we were celebrating the, um, you know, the anniversary of um, what happened in his country, in Ukraine, you know what I mean, and, and rightfully so, because was such a classic club, they gave it to him to wear the captain's armband, and on top of that, we gave him the gift of three points and victory, you know, you can see how much it meant to him, um, Zinchenko, immaculate for us, J20, again, there's nothing else I can say about J20. I love that he's proving everyone wrong. I love that he's making it difficult for all the pundits and all the Arsenal fans. Within our fan base, there are people who don't believe in Jorginho and he's made it difficult for them. So I love that and I love how he played, man. Uh, Xhaka's looking tired. I say again, he's looking very tired. I think Xhaka is the person that I say in the middle would, would have to, you know, sort of give way next game, I think, when we play at home. I think Arteta might have to give him a break. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I don't know what it would look like. I asked you last time to hit me up in the comments and let me know what do you think having J20 and Pate having a little double pivot there at the back? I mean, in the middle there, right in front of the, 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 the defense. What would that look like with Martin Odegaard right ahead of them? Let me know. Odegaard was great as well. Um, very impactful. You know, he's one of the dudes, you know, that makes that makes things tick in the middle. He can pull the strings when he is playing at his best. Arsenal are just, we, we, we are at our best as well because he's one of the dudes who just, you know, they, they he's able to really control games as well. So shout out to Martin Odegaard. Amazing stuff by Martinelli and Trossard. My goodness. Saka, as usual, as usual. There's nothing I can say about our star boy. He's amazing. He's, he's come at it and... Um, Constantly showing us game in game out that I'm the guy I'm here. I mean, he's played so many minutes so many games I saw a stat as well. Um, I don't remember it. My memory really fails me uh, A stat the crazy stat about how many minutes he's played ever since he's come into the team into the first team into the fold There's a number seven. It's ridiculous and he just carries on getting up there further and further And I mean, I can't wait until he signs the contract I know that was good news for Arsenal as well that this guy's gonna be signing the contract. So I'm very happy about that uh, it was a fantastic game. There wasn't much in terms of in terms of the game itself. There wasn't a whole we weren't um, uh, How do I put it? We weren't spoiled with a lot of goals and whatnot But if you're a purist and you're a football's purist, you'll understand that game was a fantastic game of football Especially from Arteta's side from our team from Arsenal. We played Unbelievable football. We were at the back. We were at the front. We were, we were in the middle. We didn't give them space We pressed them. They couldn't do anything and 1-0 is how it ended with a goal from Martinelli an assist for Trossard as well. So I just wanted to come on here and speak about that, speak about the guys real quickly and say I'm proud of my team. That's what happened. I called it on my prediction, by the way. I said we're going to get all three points. It wasn't 3-1. I even gave them one goal. So it wasn't even 3-1. It was 1-0. But shout out to Arsenal. I'm very happy about that. Let me know what you think, Gunners. Hit me up in the comments, please. Let me know what you think. What what could you, you know, what do you think about the whole VAR nonsense? What do you think can change in terms of the VAR, you know? Is there anyone else do you feel like Arsenal should be looking at in the summer? Because we know that the summer's coming up, man. That side, the summer's coming up. The summer transfer is going to be coming up. And we're going to see. We've got a game right now on Wednesday. Let's see how we do. We're going to speak about that too in another video. But for now, this was the Gunners View. And my name is Ukanji Wagamangaba. Please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And let's grow together, man.